Hey, good evening everybody. Red Sox collector Dan McGraw here making a quick mail day video. It's actually my last couple days of mail. It's been a slow week. Um, like a lot of people, I've kind of cut back on what I've been buying and it has nothing to do with prices necessarily. It's had to do with finding things that I that are interesting to me and things that I want to buy that are still reasonably priced. So it's not so much about the, the, the cost, it's about the supply in this case. Um, I do have some really cool things coming in the mail. I purchased seven items from the same seller the other night. Um, I think they're all autographed items, and a bunch of them are already slapped, and they're all cool, cool items for my collection, mostly vintage-type stuff. So I'm excited to get those. I think they're coming in tomorrow, I think. So I'll probably end up doing a video, maybe another video tomorrow, depending on how much time I have. But um, I also just watched a couple of YouTube videos um, I tend to just sit in the recliner at night and watch YouTube and watch videos. So uh, a lot of times that's why I don't make a lot of comments, but I've been trying to make a conscious effort, mostly on my lunch breaks this week, to try to watch some YouTube videos on my phone and, and comment and kind of interact with some people that I don't normally interact with. And I've, I've really had a good response to that. I've really had a lot of people really appreciating my comments and, and commenting back. And I think it's maybe garnered a little extra interest in my channel, uh, which is good. You know, that's always a good thing. Um, that's why we do this is to interact with other people and to share our experiences and our opinions and our cards and collections with other people. So kind of the point of this. So I, I kind of, um, I'm going to continue to do that. I enjoy it. I enjoy watching content. I enjoy watching other people's videos. But a lot of times I just don't comment a lot because of the way that I do it. And, the, and it's it's more way more convenient for me to just sit in the recliner and put on YouTube on the TV and just start watching them. So anyway, um, I have a couple of items that I picked up in the mail the last few days. Nothing fantastic here. Um, just three items that I'm going to show tonight. First one is a... 2003 Topps Chrome Refractor of Kevin Millar. Of course, Millar, best known by a lot of newer baseball fans as the uh, co-host of Intentional Talk on the MLB Network uh, with Chris Rose. And Millar had a decent um, tenure with the Red Sox, was a very popular player, uh, was kind of the leader of that clubhouse, it seemed. Um, great personality um and he was a very uh when he was hot he was hot <laughs> um but he definitely kept that clubhouse loose and was a big part of the whole cowboy up um you know phrase that they came up with back i think in the 2003 season um but this is just a nice card you don't see as many of the refractors from the early 2000s so they are a little harder to find this one's numbered to 6.99 uh, these have definitely, the major new, big names have shot up in prices like a lot of other things. Uh, this was a 99 cent free shipping deal, uh, so I was happy to grab that. Um, normally it's not something I would buy, but I try to grab the, the older refractors whenever I can find them. And uh, so that was a nice pickup. Uh, the second card that I picked up was actually a nice card. Um, it's from the 2006 Fleer Greats of the Game set, and it's actually a Game use bat card of Hall of Famer and 500 Home Run Club member. Just bear with me. I'm taking the tape off the top of the card here so it'll present a little better. Uh, Mr. Jimmy Fox. Um, I did not have any relic cards of Fox. Uh, this was a nice one to pick up. Um, I got it at a pretty good price. Um, definitely happy to own a Jimmy Fox relic card. Uh, my first one. And I'm going to... Uh, I don't know what the actual value is. I know what I paid for it, and it wasn't a ton. I got, I think I got a good deal on it. I was only one of two bidders on the item, so it went for just above what the starting price was. So I'm very happy with that. I have several cards from this set. Um, we'll probably try to chase more now, now that I've got uh, one of the key ones in the set now in Jimmy Fox. Obviously, the Ted Williams, I believe, would be the best one. I don't think there's a Babe Ruth in this set, so I think Ted Williams would be the, the big one to get other than Jimmy Fox. So happy to add that to my collection. And the third item is just another kind of oddball fun thing. Um, I have several um, photo balls, is what they were called. They were issued during the 1980s. Uh, during the initial heyday of the hobby. Um, and they featured a baseball with a photo imprinted on it. And some of them had stats. Many of them had stats on the back of it. 
um, career stats or their previous season stats, and they made them of the big names of the day and some retired greats, and I have several of them in the other room. I have uh, Ted Williams, Yastrzemski, Clemens, Boggs, Greenwell, um, probably some other players too. Um, and I try to pick up all the ones that I don't have because they're kind of cool. This one was... Um, and this is the logo. This is the case that it came in. I took it out because it will present a little better. But if you can see that photo ball, and it's spelled F-O-T-O. And these were pretty popular back in the day. And um, you don't see a ton of them. And when you do, they're not usually that expensive. And they're just a cool collectible. You put them, I put them in my old ball holders, um, just the gold base round ball holders. Um, and they display nicely. Uh, I've got some in the other room. And uh, I'll do, I did a video on that particular section of my room several months ago, but uh, I'm going to do another full-fledged video here, hopefully this weekend. I actually made a huge, huge progress on my room um, over the course of the last few days, and uh, I'm very close to being able to do my video now. Um, I've got some lighting uh, I got some lighting in the other day, and I'm going to hopefully pick up some more tomorrow. So I'm hoping to uh, really make that video soon because I'm really excited about it because I've got that room finally organized and looking really good, and I'm really pleased with the way it came out. So I'm anxious to show that. So anyway, back to this item. This is just cool. It's just a little mini glove, and it's got the photo ball logo on the glove you can't really see it there you go on the tag there it's a little weather glove with a baseball with a red Sox logo on it and on the back it has a little brief little history not a whole lot of information on there but just kind of cool and it just fits nicely into the glove and that'll just make a nice little display it should stand up well i don't know if it's going to stand up or not but yeah, it'll stand up like that. I'll find a little spot in the, excuse me, in the other room to put that up on. Um, so just another cool little item for the collection. Um, that's it for today. Um, like I said, been very slow. Haven't been purchasing a lot. Um, still doing searches, but I'm I'm finding it harder and harder to find things I don't already have at prices I'm willing to spend. So I'm branching out. I'm branching out into other things. And now that I've gotten some of my odds and ends that have just been s sitting out there in stacks, you know, out and displayed, and now I know, remember, okay, now I remember I have this. I'd like to get more of this. And um, again, because of the scope of my collection, I like to buy just about anything Red Sox. So I can always find something that's affordable for my collection. And uh, I'm definitely going to continue to, to, to search that. Um, so I'm, I'm okay with the, the boom, so to speak. It doesn't affect me as much. So, um, I'm going to keep on collecting what I love and that's Boston Red Sox. And, um, there's always going to be good deals out there, um, in different categories. So, uh, I have to agree with the people that have been posting videos about, you know, you know, there's all kinds of stuff out there to collect, you know, find something different to get into, you know, go back if you're a longtime collector and you've got a huge collection, go back through some of your old stuff and, you know, dig them out, you know, see what you have and, and come up with the different themes for your collection. And uh, you can still keep it really fun. I mean, I certainly am able to keep my collection fun. Uh, that's what's important to me. Uh, the dollar value means nothing to me. I'm not going to listen. Okay, that's that's false. Of course, the dollar value means something to me. It means something to everybody. <clears throat> you don't you don't spend the kind of money that we spend on our hobby and not care the value of it. You have to have that in the back of your mind, um, unless you just have money to burn or throw away, which I don't think any of us do. So, yeah, just keep. Make the make the hobby fun for yourself. Find different ways to to uh, to keep the hobby interesting and fun, and um, you'll never get bored of it. And you'll always be able to find stuff that you can afford. So that's my two cents on the subject. I just wanted to comment because I did watch a couple of really good videos that were very insightful to that. Um, so that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their week and I will hopefully see you again before the end of the weekend with, uh, some new cool autograph pickups and hopefully, hopefully a 
video of my basement. All right, everybody have a great night and take care.